life has different stages but do we know how is a life formed what is the secret behind the formation of life let's understand this in this video in sexual reproduction two parents are required one is the female which produces a reproductive cell called the ovum or the egg cell and the another parent is a male which produces a reproductive cell called the sperm now let's understand the structure of the sperm the sperm basically contains three main parts first is the head which contains nucleus the nucleus contains all the genetic material second is the neck and third is the tail which helps in the movement of the sperm the journey of life begins in the female reproductive system the female reproductive system consists of four organs the first is a pair of ovaries second is a pair of oviduct also called as fallopian tube third is the uterus or the womb and last is the vagina the lower part of the womb is called as the cervix now let's understand the secret of formation of life the ovum or egg cell is produced in one of the ovaries during copulation the sperm enters the vagina due to the acidic environment of the vagina few of the sperms get killed and the remaining sperm enter the lower part of the uterus that is the cervix the swimming speed of sperm in fluid is approximately 5 mm per minute through the cervix the sperm now enters the uterus inside the uterus some of the sperms are killed by the female's natural defense system that is the wbc and the remaining sperm a very little sperm enters the fallopian tube at a specific point the ovum is released from the ovary this is called as ovulation one of the sperm which is lucky enough to reach near the ovum fuses with the ovum this is called as fertilization the fertilization occurs in the oviduct after fertilization if other sperms want to penetrate the ovum their penetration is restricted by the ovum inside the fertilized ovum there is a fusion of the genetic material of the sperm and the ovum this results in the formation of the first cell of the baby which is called as zygote as the zygote now travels to the uterus a series of cell division occurs This series of cell division occurs in the fallopian tube or the oviduct. The zygote continuously divides due to cell division. And a ball of mass or a structure is formed called as blastocyst. The blastocyst reaches the uterus and it gets implanted into one of the walls of the uterus. after implantation the lady is said to be pregnant the blastocyst now develops into an embryo different organ starts forming and an embryo now develops into a fetus a fetus is an unborn human an organ called as placenta provides the nutrients and the oxygen from the mother's blood to the fetal blood and removes the waste products from the fetal blood a tube like structure called as umbilical cord connects the placenta to the fetus approximately 280 days or 9 months are required for the complete development of fetus this is called as the gestation period a gestation period is a period of development of fetus from conception that is the fusion of sperm and ovum to birth As the fetal development is completed, 
the walls of the uterus starts contracting and the cervix open because of the muscular contraction of the uterus the fetus is pushed out through the vagina as the fetus comes out from the vagina now it is called as a baby and a new life is born if you find this video informative please click the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you